Let's see a trailer yes. for the film. It's like looking through binoculars, observing people on a far off beach, running around in circles, fixated on the small area of sand under their feet as a tsunami races towards the shore. 101 degrees Fahrenheit, it's the hottest day ever recorded. It is our fault. Of course, worried about global warming. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Losing everything you have, it's so overwhelming, and the grief is just, it's profound. The question I've been asking is, why didn't we save ourselves when we had the chance? Evacuate! 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 That's it. The airline business needs a face, a personality. You're suspended. You're suspended. Both of you come to my office right now. Please want her place to be like in America. They are living that kind of life. You just don't want to stay on edge forever. It's a fair fight. And I hope you lose. What it normally always comes down to with wind farms is aesthetics. Hypnotic. You're driving along and you tend to see the cells revolving and you're not concentrating on the driving. I feel really, really f off with it. Stare Mother Nature in the eye, and then she dares you. Go ahead, do it. Let's dance. London is underwater again. It's half past two degrees. We can see it's a hard-hitting film. What lessons do you think there are for the NHS and for health professionals in general? Well, there's an immediate message for everyone because for far too long, climate change has been a benign thing. It's been climate, it's been change, it's been warming. And if there's been a risk, it's been to polar bears and ice packs. And what this uh, film, for me, says for the first time publicly is that we as individuals are under threat not polar bears, just polar bears, but you and I and our children. It's us, and it's us now, and it's not some ethereal time 500 years in the future. So actually the message is for every person on the planet, I think, that this is an absolute catastrophe. It could wipe out our species this century, and that's not uh, polemic coming from fringe politics. This is mainstream scientific opinion now. We could be in the dying decades of our species, and that means us. So the message, I think, to healthcare professionals is that there really is nothing more important in their lives now than fighting this fire. And we've got to drive this forward. Unless we create the space for our politicians and our businesses to take the bold moves, they're disempowered to do that. So I think we have a powerful voice in advocacy as much as we do in changing our lives as personal individuals and changing the way in which our employment acts as well. Or our employers behave. Someone in the film mentions the fact that as a species we're not well adapted to a slow emergency, that this is the worst kind of emergency Absolutely. we could be facing because we're good at responding to immediate threat. Is that your explanation also for why we're able to deny what's happening so Absol effectively? Absolutely, and as clinicians many of us will be in, in the health sector watching this just now, we're all familiar with this. Humans are very bad at weighing the consequences of immediate activity, especially when it's pleasurable, when there is some indeterminate personal risk sometime in the future. So if you just think of the simple public health issues of unprotected sex, alcohol and cigarettes, for many people great fun right now, associated with a risk in a year or two or more's time, mm. and people are unable to equate those two things together. How much more difficult then to equate something where you don't even see someone dying next to you from climate change yet, um, with that risk that's about to strike. And I think that's where we're ill-equipped for it, and it's where we have to engage the emotions as well as the intellect. So it's where films like this, I think, are very important to try to get people to grasp it and know that they've got to act.